Hey there guys, it is that time of year again. It is time for a quarterly check-in to see how I've been doing with my goals. So we are officially halfway through the year. I, I don't, I, mind does not compute. I don't understand how that has happened, but it has. We have just kind of flown through this year and I feel as though I've accomplished zero with my life. Things have actually gone uphill and downhill all at the same time. It's very confusing. But it's exciting. It's an exciting year. It's an exciting year for reads. It's an exciting year six, 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 two. What? It's a good year for my life. I'm excited. So I want to do a check-in to see how I have been doing with things. I said I was going to be doing this just to keep myself in check to make sure that I'm actually sticking to my goals because I set myself goals then forget about them. Then in like November time, I'm like, Oh yeah. So this is what I said I was going to do. Here we go. So the first goal I had in December that I actually wanted to stick to was to do weekly vlogs. Um, as you can probably tell, I have not stuck to that goal. I mentioned in the last one, which I will link above if you want to go and watch that in about March time, that I wasn't really enjoying them. I was enjoying the weekly vlog aspect, but in my life, I expected to be doing so much more things. And then I started a new job. So it was literally just work, home, work, home, work, home. And I just felt as though my vlogs were getting repetitive to film, but also really getting repetitive to watch. So in the end, I just decided to scrap the vlogs because I weren't happy with them. I still do random vlogs every now and again, which I enjoy because they're just kind of off the cuff or based around a certain theme. Whereas the weekly vlogs, they just always had to be constant. So I like the option of picking and choosing when I do the vlogs. It's quite nice. I enjoy that. So I'm much better now. It's not a weekly vlog anymore, but it's just an occasional vlog. I always do my spoiler filled vlogs and I do some random other vlogs. I will link my most recent vlog up above so you guys can go and check that out should you wish to. Right now the next goal, <laughs> the next goal is uh, to get my TBR to a maximum of 300, ideally 250. I am on target with that goal. My current TBR is 283, 282. I've just DNF like two books, so I'm not entirely sure where it stands right now, but it's about two, it's in the 280s. I did actually get that down to about 260 and then it went right back up. So I'm pretty disappointed in that, but I am still within the 250 to 300 range that I was going for. I am still on track. My goal is now to get it to 250. It's not an official goal. I am fine with the 300, but I want to get it to 250. It would be a nice personal goal to achieve. I've got half a year to do it. It's definitely possible, especially when my birthday is coming up because I do get books for my birthday. I would like to get it right down so that I'm not going right back up. Ah, uh, so we'll see about that one. I did set a challenge for myself and a forfeit almost saying that if I didn't get to 300 by the end of the year, I would have to unhaul however many books to make it 300. So if I had like 302, I would unhaul two books. If I had 350, I had to unhaul 50. And that was a goal I set for myself. Maybe in the next quarter, if my TBR is down enough, I will make my official goal 250 and do that. But for right now, no, 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 no. I don't wanna do that right yet. I could do that now. No, I'm not going to do that just yet. Next time. Next time we will see. We will see how uh, confident I am in my abilities. Right, so the next one is to close all of my current series. I don't even know how many series I have open. Um, I finished The Shadow Hunters, which was a great one. I have, let me see, I'm just going to do a quick count. So currently I have five series open. At the start of the year I had eight open, so that has dropped by three. However, I did close off a few and then start others so it's kind of dropped a lot and then built back up a lot so it's fluctuating but i wanted to close all of the series i currently had open since january i have still got open which i had from last year one two three three is that right three yeah of the original ones, I've only got three of them left open still. I have opened a couple more. So uh, we'll see. 
we'll see. I'm on track, I'm happy, it's all good. So another little mini goal I wanted to set for myself was I wanted to get to 400 subscribers by the end of the year. I think I was on like 360 or 370 back in December. So I was like, it'd be a nice little goal to get up. I have done that. I said that in the last video, I had exceeded that already. And I was so grateful to people who joined, so grateful to people that stayed, so grateful to people that just kind of pop in every now and again, to be honest. Um, I'm currently on 300, 400, 400. Four, yes, sorry. I'm currently on 449 subscribers, which is amazing. Uh, I'm not going to up that. I'm not going to readjust my goal to get it up higher. I don't particularly care. I am so grateful to the number of people, no matter the number. I'm just grateful that people are there and people are watching. Um, I did say in the last video that I had quite a dip in the number of views I was getting. And, you know, that's still true. That is still true. I'm, I'm less upset about it than I was back then. Um, back in March, it was really upsetting to me. But straight after I filmed that video in March, I started a new job. And quite honestly, I just didn't have time to uh, film as many videos, post as much as I wanted, and care as much. <laughs> So when people watch my videos, I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. If people get to them months afterwards, I'm like, great. Thank you so much. I posted a video last March, so of March of 2020, and that still gets views every now and again. Every time they do, I'm like, oh, thank you. It's great. So I just don't care as much anymore about instant views, which is fine by me. Because I think a lot of my videos recently, they're mainly like vlogs and then spoiler-filled vlogs. They're videos that people can always come back and watch. It's not like you know, the mid-year freak out tag or something that is very specific to that one time period, that one thing, like, people can just watch it as and when they want. So I think just overall, I personally care a lot less about the immediate number of views, but I would still like to see it go up, just just slightly, because it is, <laughs> is varying. I admit I do some spoiler-filled vlogs, so if you haven't read the book and you don't want to be spoiled, you can't watch, so that will have an effect on the numbers. And recently that tends to be the densest number of videos on my um, channel because I do them more because they're just vlogs. It's quick and easy. Uh, but my, my views have been dipping. I don't know whether that's just a generic thing and everyone's views are dipping, but I've noticed mine have and things have been changing, but I just don't particularly mind as much. I understand everyone's got a busy life. Another goal of mine was to read a bit more fantasy. I have definitely been keeping up with that. A lot of my books are more fantasy, especially now I've joined Fairy Loot because I've been getting a lot of Fairy Loot books. Uh, my most recent read, which was a Fairy Loot book, was This Golden Flame by Emily Victoria. Um, I actually really enjoyed this. I think I gave it a three star. Yeah, three star, because it was very, very good. It was just one of them, you know where I wanted more from it, but it was really, really good. Before that, I read The Prison Healer, which was an absolute five star, amazing. I do have The Bright and the Pale to read, and which is steeped in gold. Like, there, there are just so many. I don't particularly read the books in any order, but I also have a lot of fantasy books still on my shelves. I read the entire Akatar series, apart from the most recent one and the short novella, but I will be reading the novella this month. Um, I've read Maze Runner, which is more dystopian, but kind of branches in. And, you know, I've got a lot of, lot of um, fantasies on my shelves that I have been reading. And I'm so happy for that. So I've definitely read more fantasy. And the last one is I wanted to uh, keep ahead of my arcs. I will admit that is the one I failed at. I have not been doing that. I've wanted to, but for the last like month or so, I have definitely been in a slump. I've not wanted to admit it, but I have. I, I've i been okay with audiobooks. I've just been listening on and on and on because I really enjoy them. Plus, I do a big commute to work. I've mentioned this in many, many videos. My commute to work is an hour and a half to two hours there, traffic depending, and then two hours back. So it's like essentially four hours a day of an audiobook. If I listen on times two speed, that's eight hours. So I can finish theoretically a book every two days. So I've been reading a lot of audiobooks. But as a result, I've been very tired and slumpy because of work anyway. And when I come home, I don't want to read as much. So I've not been reading physically. I've not been reading my Kindle arcs. I've not been reading physical arcs as much. But I haven't requested any either. So it's not like I'm still requesting and it's building up. I've just not been reading the ones that I've got currently, which is a shame. But I will get to them. I'm determined. There are quite a few. I think I've got three now 
and they're not out yet. Um, I think I've missed two that I should have read. Um, but I've still got three that are ahead of schedule. I will try and stick to them, but I will read all of them this year. That is a personal goal I'm going to be doing. But those were all my goals. I did have one where I said I wanted more content from you guys, and you guys have been forthcoming, and I don't want to keep asking in every video what you want to see. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. I'm really always grateful to have suggestions of what you guys want. But I'm not going to keep asking people to let me know what you want, because you have been doing, and I'm really grateful for that. But those are my goals. I've been sticking to them mainly. There have been a few changes, life changes that way. It's absolutely fine. Everything is going well and I'm really happy. So I'm very grateful to everybody who has been here for the, how many months? Why is brain not working? 18, 18 months, 18 or 19 months I've been here. And I am so grateful to everyone that has joined me in that time. Thank you all for being here. I really appreciate you all. Let me know how you guys are. I feel as though because of work, I've been out of the community a little bit and I wanna know. So if you're watching this video, drop a comment down below. Just let me know, how are you? What's going on in your life? I want to know because I feel as though I've missed out on a few things. I want people to chat with me. I miss you all. And if you don't wanna leave a comment, emoji, anything you'd like, just let me know you've been here. I love you guys very much. Thank you so much for still continuing to support me. I really, really appreciate it. But for now, I'm gonna go and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.